So you want to make rain. Lucky for you, it's pretty easy. Start off by inserting a plane. Move it wherever you want it and scale it how you need it. So now you need to add a particle system and keep it on emitter. Right now it's only going to be these weird little spheres. We want to change that to water droplets. So first thing, we're going to go down to render and we need to change it to object. But we don't have an object yet. So add in an icosphere and decimate the geometry down so that you don't have too many polys. Now that it's less geometry, you can shade it smooth and it'll look fine after you render it all because of motion blur and the glass material. Speaking of glass material, add a glass material. Change the roughness down, make it more watery. E for using EV, check screen space refraction. Okay, so back to making the rain droplets. Now we need to change the instance object to the icosphere. So select it, and now you can see that it's the icosphere. Under the render tab, you can also change the scale of the droplets and the randomness of the scale. I think that the most randomness and then just not too much scale, about 0.5 and below, works the best. And then you can also change the number of particles. You can just make an insane amount and then just drop them all at the same time. And you have got a downpour. Since the range is falling straight down is a little boring, we can add in a wind force, and then changing the parameters of this wind, like the strength and the noise, when we play our animation, we can move the wind around and move the rain with it, just like real wind works. Make sure you check motion blur, and especially if you're using Eevee, you need to play with these a little bit. I found that turning the shutter down and then putting this at about 100 and then making sure that the steps or around 10. That just improves the quality and realism of the motion blur. So yeah, that's pretty much all it is on the rain. I really hope this helped you. Hope you enjoyed. Bye.